Good evening, this is Akashi Vishwakarma. Uh, we are going to have a lecture on transformer under the heading Electrical Machines. First of all, we will understand what uh, exactly a transformer is. Transformer is an electromechanical static device which transfers power from primary to secondary, or from high voltage to low voltage, or from low voltage to high voltage by means of mutual inductance without changing the frequency. So, uh, as we all know that transformer does a work on stepping up and stepping down from low voltage to high voltage and from high voltage to low voltage. Uh, we already know this thing that uh, when it is from high voltage to low voltage, it is called a step down transformer and when it is from low voltage to high voltage, it is called a step up transformer. Apart from that, other things are also done by a transformer. Uh, which is called as, first of all, <coughs> impedance matching. Impedance matching in maximum power transfer theorems in network. Also, we have studied one thing called maximum power transfer to the load. This is done for in the context with impedance matching. Uh, second, second thing which is done by a transformer is isolation of DC. We all are aware of a fact that transformer works on a principle of virtual inductance and on AC supply that is alternating current. So we may require some places uh, like in HPD transmission that where we need to have isolation of DC from AC or from AC to DC whatever whatever may be the requirement. Ultimate thing is that isolation of DC. If we are getting an waveform at the input like this as well as like this, at the output, what we get, we may get output PO sine wave. So that this isolation, this red one, this red blue, or you can say this blue line, which is on that DC line right now, is completely isolated in the <coughs> output. So this is also. Uh, uh, work done by a transformer when uh, we talk about the uses of transformers. That is, first we all know that which is stepping step up down and step down of voltage. Second thing, uh, already we discussed that isolation of. Uh, uh, this one DC and third one is impedance matching. Okay, <clears throat> now coming to the part that how a transformer is constructed. So, we will discuss about the construction of a transformer. Okay, there is a core, we know this thing. This core is normally made up of CRGO, that is called cold roll grain oriented special steel, which is it is cold rolled staying in because of the reason that uh, it is maintained in such a direction that it will give a minimum core losses as well as high permeability. This is a very important point regarding gate examinations, engineering service examination or any other public sector examination that uh, what are the uh, basis properties of CRG. Well, the very first important property is your low core losses. Second very important property is this that 
हाइपरमेबिलिटी दिस टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स आर टू बी रिमेम्बर रिगार्डिंग सी आर जी कोल्ड रोड ग्रेनोलेटेड स्टील in which in this arrangement what is done each lamination each crg coil or each crg plate is isolated from one and another by a thin layer of uh, varnish or something like that to avoid adding the losses we all know all we all know adi current losses but we will discuss all adi current and resistor losses and losses of a transformer afterwards so my <coughs> saying was that how a transformer is constructed so this transformer core is constructed by why we can say that this is having a solid piston thing which is having plain laminations lamination are uh, this separated by uh, two different uh, two means two uh, layers are separated by a thin layer of varnish by uh, because of to avoid any kind of losses now third thing regarding the first section is that when we have a core it will be having a Windings. Well, the primary and this is called the secondary. Primary will be whatever which will whichever is connected to the supply will be treated as a primary coil and whichever is uh, is by whichever is connected to the load actually is called the secondary. So when I connect my high voltage winding to primary or to the supply. and my low voltage winding is connected to the load then it is called a step down transformer in this direction when now when my primary is connected to the supply and it is called as low voltage winding and now this is become a high voltage winding so it is a stepping up so it will be called as step up transformer we all know this thing but i am just giving you a brief discussion about what is low voltage winding what is high voltage winding we know all these things so please 